Uh, right, so I place that one, get rid of it, and nope. Why did I, what did I forget? Wait. Oh, come on, this is that issue. Oh, I remember, I remember having this issue quite a couple of years ago and drove me crazy. Right, the issue is that Unity doesn't actually refresh the parent-child relationship. It doesn't refresh it right away, so over here I'm calling destroy. But when this ends, this guy is still going to be a child of this one. I'm pretty sure this is the issue, because I'm pretty sure I went crazy with this issue at one point in the past. So if I unparent it and then destroy it, now the parent list should be correct, I hope. Let me just delay that one. There you go. That one. There you go. Now it does work. So that's the issue. It's the issue that's drove me crazy so long. But yep, great. There you go, another perfect example of the power of experience. I can't see power of experience because I had that issue where if you destroy it, it still counts as being a child. So that is why I was doing a refresh, then going through all the children and so on, and it was adding them again because this guy apparently still exists. Oh boy, yeah, that's annoying, but thankfully, yeah. So if you ever try to destroy things, always know that they're not actually destroyed, at least when it comes to parent-children relationships. So what happened here is if you have a child object and you call destroy, it's not really destroyed instantly, it still exists, and if you check the child count or cycle through the children, it's still there. So if your logic is based on the assumption that the child list is updated instantly, just like I was doing here, then everything breaks. One solution is to manually unparent the object and then let Unity destroy that object sometime in the future. Remember that so you don't go insane just like I did many years ago, wondering why a supposedly destroyed object was still alive as a child.